Hey everyone. I remember when in the youth group we used to have this game that we would do when we occasionally with the kids there and the game consisted of us um, making an obstacle course of sorts and the kids in the group they'd be blindfolded and the idea is that they had to make their way through the obstacle course while blindfolded and obviously it's a youth group so we had a pedagogical purpose we we're trying to teach something and we'd actually made we actually made the obstacle course uh, in such a way that you couldn't get out. It was impossible to escape from the obstacle course. But the thing is, they were blindfolded, and so they couldn't see this, and so they just thought that, like, okay, they just need to f go this other direction, or they need to do this other thing. And so it's basically this continual game of them not being able to get out. But we did tell them that, okay, all you have to do, or at any time, you could ask for help. If you want to, you could ask for help, and we'll, we'll help you out. And so the game was a, a reminder that Without God, we can't do anything. We always need his help. We always need to ask God for help. You know, we're not capable of doing many things in life on our own. And this is something also that's related to the divine mercy. We just recently celebrated the great feast of divine mercy. But one of the elements of the message of divine mercy, like one aspect of the message of our Lord to St. Faustina was, we're supposed to ask for mercy. You know, it's not as if it's just going to come down from heaven, no matter what, it's going to hit us over the head and God's going to forgive us our sins and we are going to receive all these graces. No, we're supposed to ask for it. We need to trust that God wants to be merciful and then we need to actually go about the process of asking for it. And then we will be recipients of this mercy. You know, our Lord died on the cross. He died on the cross for all mankind. The world has, in a sense, been saved. But it's necessary still that we go to the sacraments to receive the grace from that salvific death and resurrection of our Lord. And so too with the mercy of God. Once we have that complete trust that God wants to forgive me, that God can forgive me, that God's grace is stronger than my sins, that there's nothing on the face of the earth that God can't forgive, then I need to ask him for that forgiveness. Because there is one thing that our Lord said could not be forgiven. The sin against the Holy Spirit. And that is the sin of not asking for forgiveness, of doubting God's capacity to forgive, or just simply choosing to not do so. And so as we continue with this Easter celebration, this Easter season, we pray that we might always have that desire to seek out the mercy of God, which he just wants to pour down upon us.